What's going on, everybody? I'm W. And I'm the Thick Baby. And we're going to be bringing you some video game news. But before we get into it, let me just mention we have our merch dropping February 1st. It's going to be first come, first serve. We have limited sizes, so get it while it's hot. It looks pretty sweet. It's got me as a western cowboy. I'm like seven feet tall and jacked for no reason. And I can't wait for it to come out and show you guys. It's going to be awesome. But let's just jump right into it now with some video game news. To kick it off, I got Skull and Bones, Ubisoft's sequel to Assassin's Creed Black Flag that turned into its own standalone game, finally has an open beta coming February 8th through the 11th. Ooh, that's going to be sweet. Yeah, so I think Black Flag was 2013-ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. somewhere in there. Uh, After that, they had realized everybody wants the pirate ship battles from Black Flag. They were that's so cool. I mean, that was like my last favorite Assassin's Creed. I didn't get to play it, but I've heard the great things you say about it. This is just, after that, they started uh, Skull and Bones. It's going to be a sequel to that where it's just the pirate ship battles. It's going to be an MMO. Cool. It's going to be a standalone. It just kept getting pushed back and back and back until we finally got an open beta for just one standalone game that's coming. Okay. So it should be, it's kind of like Sea of Thieves-ish, I imagine, yes, a little bit. Yes, yeah. Uh, I, it, it'll be Sea of Thieves just with Assassin's Creed art style. That's what it'll be. Cool. Yeah. Hope we can still assassinate people and swing. Let's help. Whale Let's hunting. <laughs> uh, Rocksteady uh, already takes down the servers for Suicide Squad, kills the Justice League an hour after going live for Deluxe Edition players. So if you had bought the Deluxe Edition for uh, Suicide Squad, kills the Justice League, you get to play the game 72 hours before it goes live. Okay. The second it went up for that 72 hour, um, everybody got an achievement that was like, you've completed the game. Oh. Yeah, which you're not supposed to get right away. Unlocks probably new game plus, that kind of stuff. All the bonus. So they immediately took down the servers and were like, we'll be back with a fix soon. Hasn't come back up yet. It's been a few hours now. Hopefully that's coming back soon. But that's kind of just a huge thing on their part that they would give so much money like they're gonna have to push back the launch for this yeah i, I mean that's a huge oversight yeah that's 72 hours you're supposed to get that's the reason you're paying for this deluxe edition other than like dlc for and early stuff. access yeah I mean, yeah so hopefully they push that back and make it a little fair for the players that i'd be are so getting bummed. i'd be raging i'm glad i didn't buy new one yeah like, dude i was ready to play today no <laughs> And last one I got is Microsoft becomes the second ever $3 trillion company oh. after laying off 1,900 people from their gaming division. Oh. Seems like a trade-off there. Uh, yeah, so laying them off made them more money? <laughs> the plan, so I think the layoffs were coming with new AI and video games in general. Okay. They're just laying yeah. off not only voice actors and stuff like that, but just art, stylists, that kind of animation art, that kind of stuff. That they're just not going to need because we got AI. Yeah, now. things you can just kind of. Yeah, other than hands, AI bit. can do it all. Yeah, <laughs> hands and feet. <laughs> um, they were trading at what do I got here? Four hundred and four dollars and eighty-seven cents per share, going into the market opening on Monday. Okay. So, I think they were teetering just below three trillion, and just to get there, they laid off the nineteen hundred people, and they bumped right up to that mark. All right. Well, good for them, I guess. Uh, Microsoft's but just become too big now. They're a monopoly. That's huge. Yeah. That's crazy. After they got Activision Blizzard and all that, it just. So what's the other trillion dollar company? Amazon, right? Oh, it's got to be. Uh, it's yeah. got to be. Amazon. I can't think, think of one other company that would be bigger than Maybe that. Maybe Walmart, but who knows? Walmart? Yeah, they're huge. Oh, I didn't think they were that big. <laughs> <laughs> I got a no from behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe behind the camera says no Walmart. <laughs> all right, go for it. Uh, for me, I got uh, Pal World. Everyone's been talking about it. You've seen it. For those of you that ha haven't, it is the Pokemon with Guns spinoff series. Uh, don't say that. Pokemon will sue them. They will. Um, <laughs> They sold 7 million copies in five days, broke some Steam chart sales, and it's, I mean, for context, Spider-Man 2, the new Spider-Man game that sold crazy, broke records and stuff, it took them, I think it was 10 days to sell over 5 million copies. Damn, okay. And they did it in well, Do you think they count days. the, because they give it away on Game Pass, do you think they just count every download on Game Pass? Oh, they have just, to. Every, that's a, they bought it. Every download has to count, I imagine. I, so. That shouldn't count. I yeah. got it for free. You got it. You got Pal World for free. Yeah, I got Game Pass. Oh, I'm so jealous. I need to pick that up. Just try it out. 
but they released their roadmap for 2024 and everything that's supposed to be coming this year. First off, they want to hammer out the big bugs and all the numerous bugs that are just filling the game all over the place. There's quite a bit of them. Um, they have world rollbacks to where the time, I haven't played it, but I guess the date or time in the game randomly will just roll back. And it's like, I just went back four weeks or something like Interesting. that. I have played a few hours of it. I, I probably got about eight hours in and I haven't experienced that. So I okay. can't speak. So I guess that's been a pretty big bug and persistent loading screen where it just indefinitely that stays I've on definitely the loading got screen. That, yeah. yeah. Definitely had some crashes of that. I'd say the game overall is very entertaining. It's, but essentially when you boil it down, it's arc with Pokemon. Yeah. They just mix it together. Instead of dinosaurs, it's Pokemon. Which is cool. I mean, yeah. The, the animations for them look really cool. All the sprites and all yeah. the figures are cool. I mean, it definitely gives you a little easier of a time than Ark would, where Ark doesn't... Ark just kind of throws you into the game and is like, build up your construction points survive. and build more, survive. This one's like, here's your tasks. Once you finish those, you'll level up. Here's more tasks. Yeah, and they so, have gyms and yeah. bosses. It's, it's an easy game to do. Uh, I've been entertained by it. The multiplayer is pretty good. It just, it's got a lot of stuff to work on. Yeah. Uh, for the future updates, not like right away they're working on it, but like their big updates, possible DLCs, they want to add PvP, raids, and something called the PAL Arena. All right, so like a Pokemon Coliseum. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, and they also want to add Steam and Xbox crossplay, which will be huge for the game. I okay. mean, having some crossplay is always good. I didn't know they didn't have crossplay. Yeah. I haven't played multiplayer yet. Not cross playing it solo. So if I pick it up, we won't be able to play it yet. Eh, fair enough. We'll get there. And build system improvements, as well as new islands, bosses, new pals, and new technology. Interesting. Uh, what is the technology they're talking the about? The technology, it's just like ARC, where you build guns, uh, construction, why am I saying construction desks, like a table to build stuff okay, on. Okay, okay. That kind of stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you can build saunas and stuff for your pals, beds, that kind of thing. Okay, that's kind it, of cool. Like a, it's, it's got that whole house building aspect to it. Nice. Yeah. I like that. Base building's always fun. Yeah. Can we just pause for a second to take a note of the fact that I think Baby, our engineer, just forgot the term for a drafting table? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what it's called in the game either. I, don't, I can't think of what it's called, the workbench. though. Workbench. <laughs> workbench. I it's believe that is what bench. it's called. It's the workbench, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is <laughs> Yeah, uh, and in other news, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth just got its collector's edition released. You can pick it up for three hundred and fifty whopping dollars. It comes with a nineteen-inch Sephiroth statue that one I was looking at is actually in extremely high detail, yeah. and the wing is detachable. So if you're ever moving it around or storing it, you don't have to worry about the wing breaking, which is actually pretty thoughtful of them. Two unique in-game armors. I believe it was a necklace and a bracelet. Okay. Um, I didn't write the stats down of what they did. It didn't seem that pinnacle to hey, you no, need to buy this is. for it. Yeah. Uh, the two cool things that they had is they had two summoning materials that are downloadable DLCs. One of them lets you summon a cooking pot anywhere you are. Okay. Which is pretty useful Helpful. for Final Fantasy yeah. games. And then the other one lets you summon three moguls. I think I said them right. Like the little dudes. Yeah. You can summon a trio of moguls to fight with you. I can't even remember the last time I played Final Fantasy games. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Kind of cool, but 350 bucks, a little That's pricey. That's a lot of $5 footlongs from Subway. Yes, it is. That's a whole lot of subs. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, go ahead and check it out. Pick it up if you want it. The statue is the selling point for me. I mean, it's probably be a $200 statue. Oh, yeah. There you no. go. But that's all I got for video game news. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to grab our merch dropping February 1st. Those are hoodies. They're first come, first serve on all the sizes. And they have us animated on the front of them. I'm big and jacked. And we got Western Boy over here. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you check that out. And we'll see you guys next Monday for more content from the New School Gaming Team.